What's up you guys, I'm Landon Productions, and this is where I like to report the news and the media, so let's get started. Sydney Spies is an 18-year-old dancer and an inspiring model who is too hot for the yearbook. This is the picture that she's using to try to get into the yearbook with. You guys can put your dicks away because it's not gonna happen. The school's administrators refuses to put the picture into the yearbook. Sydney replies with, This violates her right to freedom of expression. Wait, what? What the hell expression are you trying to give off? That you're a slut or a prostitute? I know a lot of you guys are gonna attack me right now and say what? A girl who dresses like that has to be a slut or a prostitute? I'm not saying that she is a slut or a prostitute. I'm just saying that if I had $20, I'd probably throw it her way. I'm just saying. But honestly, why would someone want to dress like this into the yearbook? Unless it was for attention, and which in this case it clearly was. She's not even wearing a shirt for God's sake. I'm not complaining, but heck, if you want to pose nude into the yearbook, go right ahead. The sales for the yearbook that year is probably going to be really, really high. Yearbooks are going to be sold out. But coming from a professional point of view, this picture is clearly too provocative. You know what's so messed up? That this story actually made it onto the news. I mean, she wanted her picture to get well known around the school, but now look, it's all over the freaking news. She pretty much got what she wanted. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to help her out in her porn Career. I know you guys want to look at the picture again, so here it is. Oh my god, what a beautiful staircase! Let's move on to the next story of the day. Police say that 11 year old boy from Dallas slowly starved to death after his parents locked him into his bedroom, pretty much just feeding him bread and water. His dad's name is Aaron Ramsey, and his stepmom, well, her name is Elizabeth Ramsey. No relationship to Chef Ramsey, because if that was the case, I'm pretty sure this boy wouldn't have starved. But all jokes aside, are you serious? Their parents actually allowed this boy to die in his own bedroom? This kid weighed 90 pounds in March, and then in August, he weighed 60 pounds. I'm pretty Pretty sure that's the weight of my like left leg. Some days this kid would actually just fall because he has no energy in him. His stepmom described him as, and I quote, he was looking like one of those kids you see in the commercials from Africa. What the fuck? Are you serious? So if you're seeing your kid looking like one of those African kids, why don't you give him food? It looks like he was on the verge of dying. Feed him. So pretty much what happened is that he got grounded because he got into an altercation with his stepmom, which led him to punching her in the stomach, which caused her to have a miscarriage. Wait, what? This story just got so much more messed up. Like, okay, this kid caused you to have a miscarriage, but you don't lock the guy up into a bedroom and just let him die. The story goes on. So pretty much after the stepson died, they put him into a sleeping bag. And then they decided to dump him into a storm shelter in a neighbor's yard. But I guess at the time, there was no one living there. What the fuck? You're gonna put a dead body into a neighbor's yard? How about you call the damn cops and say I accidentally killed my son? And then later, they took the body and dumped it into a forest. Are you guys serious? I understand that you're the stepmom, but how can you do this to another human being? And for the father, you're his freaking father. After doing all of this, how do you guys live with yourself? Right now, they're in custody with the bail set at $500,000 each. If these guys were rich, they would be out no problem. Is there not something wrong here? Wait, that was a double negative. Is something not right here? This story is just so messed up and it goes on and on and on. What do you guys have to say about all of this? Let's move on to the last story of the day. I never would have thought that I'd have her as my background. So guess what I found on Yahoo News today? Just let me read you guys the name of the title of the article. How Reply Girl's videos makes her mounds of cash. What the hell? Are you serious? We're trying to get rid of the Reply Girls and not make them more known. Pretty much what a Reply Girl is, is they take any viraling video and they would talk about it for like eight seconds and then they would tell the audience to go check it out. And oh yeah, they would wear shirts that show off their tits. So pretty much the news article that I read on Yahoo, it talks mainly about this girl, whose YouTube channel is called The Reply Girl. Go figure. I'm sorry, I just had to change the picture. The Reply Girl has over 21 million views. Holy shit, that's how you know sex? does sell. She's literally made thousands of dollars doing this. She's 24 years old who dropped out of college to make reply videos. Do the world a favor and stop. So pretty much what I think is that Yahoo ran out of news ideas to talk so they talked about this crap. So what's the moral of this article? If you want to be more successful in life, show off your tits. What do you guys think of all of this? If you guys want to learn more about the stories that I've talked about today, please click the link in the description below and it'll take you right to the stories. And please don't forget to put a comment because your comments always has a chance to be in my next video. I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Morale? I'd use that word? Moral. So pretty much this news article that I read on Yahoo. Yahoo. From showing off her tits, she's li 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 li. You serious? This violates my freedom of expression. This violates my right to freedom and expression. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone just won the biggest lottery ever recorded. And no, it, it, it wasn't me. I wouldn't be here in my room talking to a damn camera. This person that won hasn't come forward yet. Seriously, you just won $640 million and you haven't come forward yet? The person that bought the ticket at the 7-Eleven has 182 days to claim the ticket. Who the hell would wait that long? When that person finally comes forward to claim the money, they won't walk away with the $640 million. They're going to be heavily taxed. I say they walk away with about half that money. Still, a lot of money. And the 7-Eleven that sold the 